I'm just drinking some water. Okay. No big deal. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm Carrie. Good. I'm Tracy. Let's click on this. How exciting. <laughs> Look at that. That's how fancy. I know. It's we are very cool over here on the internet. So brand new show. This is so fun for you. Tell us a little bit about, about the story. Uh, well, Katherine Jensen is a detective, uh, a homicide detective, and she stumbles upon a case that she believes is a um, serial killer. And that sort of starts the trajectory of the season. She also fears that her f um, her stepfather is uh, may have contributed to the disappearance of her brother. And so the, uh, there's a big arc to this season, which is about that. And then the smaller arcs of the season are the... the cases that we deal with. I play the forensic pathologist, so I'm the one digging around in the dead bodies. A lot of jargon, a lot of big words. You know, not as much jargon as I hoped for, oh, uh, because I really studied and I wanted lots of jargon, but, uh, but you know, not that much. <laughs> What's the coolest thing that you learned about that job that you brought um, into your character? I spent about a week at the uh, medical examiner's office in Pittsburgh. They were so wonderful to me, and um, I think watching a scalp be reflected is, is pretty in pretty intense. Did you uh, love it or did you like get queasy? I loved it. Really? I loved it. I I, uh, I I was fascinated by it, and I was also tremendously struck by how much pain there is in the world. I had a lot of suicides, a lot of overdoses. Um, you know, people killing. You know, it just it, it was very painful. There's a lot of people in pain out there, and I think that's what this show is about. You know. We are all very excited to watch it. Congratulations on the job. That's fun. It's a great sound, but there's a lot of people in pain out there in the world. Watch our show! <laughs> the suicides and the killings. <laughs> no, it's really fun. Science is cool, you know? I want to solve crimes. <laughs> well, congratulations again. Have so much fun tonight. Thank you. Bye. I'm Tracy. Tracy Omid. Nice to meet you. Bring it in, Omid. Congratulations on a brand new show on A&E. Thank you so much. I'm what? excited about it. It's crazy. Tell us a little bit about the storyline. Well, the storyline is uh, it, it's based around uh, Catherine Jensen, Chloe Seventy's character, who is uh, who's a newly promoted detective in the, the homicide department. Never a good thing. Never a good thing. <laughs> yeah, except she's really good at it. Um, and but she has her own dark past, and and she has this this personal agenda in catching these serial killers and you come to learn why with her with her history and such so what about your character I play detective Jerry Molbeck uh, more or less her partner uh, and I'm uh, kind of like a, a brother figure to her um, you know like like I say I, I'll take a bullet for her but I'm not gonna get her coffee type thing so there's like there's a lot of love and uh, a lot of competitiveness and it's you know it's all in good fun what's your all-time favorite serial killer movie or show Besides your own. Ooh, besides our own. It's got to be uh, Silence of the Lambs. Right? Is that, do people not say that? Not yet. You're the first person I've first time Okay. Yeah. Definitely. That one for me. Okay. So. Well, congratulations. We all look forward to seeing it. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> awesome. Have fun tonight. Bring it in. Oh, this is so exciting. How are you? I'm a short pull on a long hill on the way there. How are you? Well, exactly what I said this morning. Oh, did you? <laughs> Congratulations on the new show. Thank you. How Thank you. excited on a scale of one to so excited? I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. I don't know where the scale is right now. <laughs> I try to stay off them. That guy's also excited. Yes, he was. Break break down the show for us a little bit. Um, crime thriller. Okay. Uh, characters who keep you guessing. Um, Good guy, bad guy? Well, you know, there's a lot of gray areas in between, too. Those who kill may not always be so bad. Uh, I, I think uh, the scripts kept getting better every time I read them, uh, the development of the characters, and I really look forward to seeing where we go from now. I'm intrigued. Right up to the last minute, he's got me guessing, so. What's your all-time favorite scary movie? Well, Psycho. Psycho. That's a good one. It's also appropriate for the event. Pretty boring, I guess. But I, uh, after I saw it, my friend, we saw it when we were like 12, and uh, he came in and and pretended he was stabbing me to wake me up the next morning, and I still haven't recovered yet. Perfect. Did you uh, have a backup plan besides acting, or was it acting or nothing? I started as an art major, actually, but that's even you know more precarious than uh, an acting. So I. I got into acting to meet girls in college and 
I could paint by myself, but that seemed to be the way to go at the time. It was a pretty foolish choice. Seems like it worked out for you. It worked out for me, yeah. I'm, I'm very lucky. It has worked out for me. Well, congratulations on everything, and we are very excited for your show. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank <laughs> you.